Hi, I'm Arlene and I'm back again with another video. Today I'm going to be doing some fall spooky season combinations. So hello and welcome glorious gang. I'm so glad you're here with me. Please let's get this video up to 50 likes. Share the video, leave a comment, and of course subscribe because we're still trying to um, grow the channel. We're almost at 2,000. We're about 300 plus away. <laughs> so I need your help to get to 2,000. Anyway, so I was trying to think of what order I was going to put these in. And right now I'm just drawing a blank. But I will start with Autumn Drive. Now, some of these, I, well, actually, I chose them all because of the name and what you might be doing, doing during <laughs> the fall season or the speak, spooky season. This is going to be, we're coming up on Halloween, which is tomorrow, so hopefully I get this video out and I'm probably put it out tonight as soon as I'm done and autumn drive so autumn drive has notes of wild raspberry warm amber vanilla birch so from the packaging it looks like fall and Halloween is during the fall season and I paired it with Mugler Angel Nova which is a beautiful raspberry scent. It has a Akagala woody note in it. So it's strong. It can withstand the cool weather. It's beautiful. It's raspberry. Perfect pair, in my opinion. So that's Autumn Drive with Angel Mugler, girl, Mugler Angel Nova. Okay, this is after work. I'm kind of tired, so <laughs> excuse the mistakes. Okay, so next I have Black Cherry Merlot. So what I was thinking, Halloween parties, you usually have some type of alcoholic beverage there for an adult party. Or even if you're with the kids, you might bring out a bottle of wine for the adults that are there that are there so i pulled up black cherry merlot i do not have the notes on the back of this one and i know it has cherry note and i want to say a raspberry note and i can't remember what the other note is but it is a nice cherry scent this is a cherry scent that i actually well I haven't smelled it in a while. Let's see. Yes, this is a cherry scent that I actually like. And it smells like a, like a wine. This is nice. I like this one. Y'all, I'm having a problem with cherry scents, so that's why I hesitated. But I will pair it with La Wee Treasure Intense. This is the cherry one. A lot of people have this one in their collection. I haven't seen people talking about it on YouTube lately, but this is a pretty one. People were loving it a few years ago. And this is the intense with the cherry note and the beautiful cherry or burgundy flower around the neck. I haven't sprayed this in a while either. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. I still like this one. This cherry is beautiful because it does have that La Wee Treasure DNA with the beautiful cherry notes um, throughout. And this has a wine-like scent also. Oh, that's beautiful. Another perfect pairing, in my opinion. So that's Black Cherry Merlot with 
La We Treasure Intense. If you have this one, pull her out. Now is the time. Now, what I remember about this one, it wasn't as long lasting as some of the other um, La We Treasures, but it's been in my collection for a couple of years now, so it may perform wonderfully. I don't know. You might be seeing it on my fragrance tray. Next, I have Everlasting Magic because it is a Halloween scent by Bath and Body Works. It has the spider webs on it. But for a lot of people, and especially the kids, this seems like it got dark. Uh, anyway, for a lot of people, especially the kids, Halloween or spooky season is a magical time because they get to put their costumes on. They get to um, go trick-or-treating or have, um, oh my God, I forgot what they call them. They don't call them Halloween parties. Ooh, y'all, I can't think. But you know, like the churches, or they can go trunk or treat, or the churches may have a party for the kids so that they can wear their non-spooky <laughs> costumes and just have a good time. So, yes, I chose Everlasting Magic. And the fragrance that I chose is Must Noir Rose by Narciso Rodriguez. So, Must Noir Rose for her by Narciso Rodriguez. Now, I did smell this one. I can't remember if I sprayed it or not. But, I've only worn this, I think, once. I bought my bottle used. But, this is a sultry, seductive type of fragrance. It smells really good. It does have like a freshness about it. Now, I didn't tell you what was in Everlasting Magic. It has bejeweled berries, phantom petals, and magic musk. I know this um, musk Aurora rose for her has a plum note and I think some pink pepper. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. Now, what I would say by layering these two together, it would add some more fruitiness, like brighter fruitiness to this sultry scent. But, yes, I think that would be a good combination. If y'all haven't pulled out your... Must Noir Rose for her. Go ahead and pull her out. Now is the season. Just as deep and sultry as this bottle looks. So another spooky season type of fragrance that I have is Ghoul Friend. This one is more on the happy lighter note. I think the packaging is pretty. I like the the way that that kind of shimmers. So I, I'm i not sure if they had this scent last year. I know they had it in candles and stuff. So, But this might be the first time that they brought the Ghoul Friend out in a fragrance mist. And I liked it when I smelled it. I, don't, I haven't worn it yet. Yeah, it has a bright, happy strawberry type of fragrance with some citruses at the top it is nice it has dark strawberries ghostly peony spine chilling citrus i think this is more of a happy playful scent and the strawberry does come through and of course i'm going to pair it with girl burberry her elixir so, 
now is the time. If you haven't been wearing Burberry Her Elixir like all year round, now is the time to pull her out. I think it's light enough to wear year round. I don't have a problem wearing it in the spring, the summer. I just wear the Burberry Hers with the S whenever I feel like. But this is a good one. And it'll just help maybe bring out some more of the, the bergamot. Because I believe it's bergamot in here also. But you get that airy, creamy, strawberry vanilla type fragrance. So that is Ghoul Friend with Burberry Her. So next I have another magical type of scent and they do have this one in the store now I think they brought it out for I don't know fall season winter season whatever but it's magic in the air this is a nice airy easy going type scent it has like a freshness to it okay the packaging on this is hard to read it has almond flour Sparkling persimmon, white iris, whipped vanilla bourbon, and fluffy sandalwood. So this is your easy type of fragrance. Very layerable. Very easy. Like I said, easy to wear. It's just a pretty scent. It has a little bit of sweetness. Just a really nice scent. And because it has the almond flower, I pulled out Kaali's Yum Pistachio Gelato. This does not have almond in it, but it does have the pistachio and it has hazelnuts. So it'll just make this um, Yum Pistachio Gelato a little bit airier, but... This is a beautiful scent on its own, and I think it will be easy to pair because Magic in the Air is one of those scents that you can pretty much wear with anything. But like I said, for especially for kids, Halloween, spooky season is a magical time. And for us adults that appreciate the changing of the leaves, it's a magical time also. So there. And. Okay. So then I also pulled out. Bonfire Bash. Because of the name. Bonfires. For fall. It just goes together. It's cold. You might still want to be outside. To experience that. Um, what would you say? Crisp air, but you want to stay warm, do a bonfire. This has vanilla bourbon, creamy sandalwood, cashmere musk. This is a beautiful, sweet fragrance. It seems like it has gotten sweeter since it's been sitting for maybe a year or two. Oh, it smells so good. That vanilla and the cashmere is just coming out. It's beautiful and sweet. And so I was like, why not add some more sweetness to it? So I pulled out Black Opium Lee Parfum, which is a beautiful vanilla scent. I haven't worn this in months. Oh, that smells so good. So, I thought this would be a perfect pairing, especially if you were to do a bonfire and you wore these two together and that'll be just swirling in that brisk, cool air. Beautiful. Put on, do some... um. Make some s'mores, roasted marshmallows. 
That'll be perfect. And last but not least, I pulled out the good girl into the night. Spooky season, Halloween, you get dressed, you do your thing at night. So why not pull out into the night? This has notes of Raspberry Noir, Amber Crystals, Velvety Rose Petals, Creamy Patchouli, and Mocha Musk. So I was like, why not pull out Victoria's Secret Cocoa Soiree? These two are like a perfect match. Oh, I, this doesn't have the smell. Oh, yeah. This has the chocolatey sweet berry fragrance. And Into the Night is on the same, same wavelength. This will be perfect together. And um, for a lot of these, I had some different fragrances that I was going to pull out. But then I decided that I didn't really want to go like into the more expensive niche rim. I kept it more with your designers, except for K. Ali, which is a reasonably priced niche brand. Um, and it's easy to find. So I'm hoping that a lot of you that watch me have some of these perfumes and fragrance mists that you can mix and match and come up with some layers. Ooh. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you on the next one. Thank you for watching. Share with all of your friends, especially if they're going to celebrate spooky season, Halloween, all of the things. If they have parties to go with, I mean, go with, go to <laughs> share this video. All right. See you on the next one. Bye-bye.